Hi everyone. I was able to pick up $200 in ones to do a currency search. So let's go ahead and get this started. everyone I'm Gina R and I want to welcome you back to my channel we are going to do a $200 currency search and we're going to be looking for fancy serial numbers star notes and possibly some errors if we can find any well enough said about what I plan to do let's go ahead and get this hunt started well I do have a few finds. Let me share with you some of the stuff that I have. And I gotta say, not all of them are, val in fact, none of them are really valuable. But we had an Omoster. Look at this. We almost had a repeater. I'm gonna zoom in. Oops, there we go. 2089101. Had that two been a one or the one a two, we would have had a very nice repeater. The note is in really good condition. A couple of small folds, but nothing major. Wow. Oh, well, this is going to go back into circulation. Also, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it zoomed uh, in. We did have quads, and like I said in past videos, I collect these so that I try to find, because I'm trying to find, I should say, I'm trying to find a pair to this, a matching pair, because um, I think it would be fun. So that's why I collect these. So I have one of these that was found. I did find an older note, a, tw a 2003 older note. That's, and we were able to find a star note, a 2013 Dallas star note. We'll be inputting this at the end of the video to see if it's part of a low print run. Okay, let me move on now to strap number two. Well, I'm done going through strap number two. And disappointingly, I got to say, I found no star notes or fancy serial numbers. I did have another almost note. And 1847, 1547. That 8 needed to be a 5 or the 5 needed to be an 8 for it to be a repeater. So we had another one of those. Oh, I'm going to put that back in circulation. We found a trinary, not valuable at all. So please don't let anybody tell you that trinaries are valuable. They have to fall under certain circumstances, such as being a repeater or a radar note for it to have some type of value. But something like this, it's just plain old uh, three digits is not valuable at all. These are fun to find because I try to find matching pairs. Now that might sound impossible to do, but there have been a lot of people who have found pairs. And what it is, is they're different series. Because remember, for each series, each number is unique to that series. It cannot repeat. Only once in the history has that error ever occurred, and that was in 2013, and those are the New York notes, where there was a miscommunication between the two printing facilities. They didn't know where to start printing. They both started with the same serial numbers, and so because of that, there are some star notes that have a pair out there for the same series but I'll be trying to find a pair through the other series so this could happen who knows maybe tomorrow or in the future or I might not ever find a matching pair but 
I'm pulling these aside because I am trying to do that. Maybe one day we will find one and I'll be glad to share that with you. Okay, enough about trinaries and quads and why I try to save them. The only thing that we did find of interest was an older note, a 2003A. And it's not in the greatest condition, but I do hold on to these. So that was it. So, all right. So much for all the sozos. Um, I'm going to enter this into my currency collection, Starnote Lookup. And we're going to see if it's part of a low print run. So I'll, oh, there I go again. Sorry about all the sews. I don't know why today I'm in a sew mood. <laughs> all right, let's go look this up and see if it's part of a low print run. Well, I went to Star Note Lookup, and this is part of a very, very large print run. So it's not valuable at all. It's in good condition, so maybe I can get um, $2 above face value for it. Well, that's all I have for this hunt. I wish I had more exciting finds this time. You're not always going to find star notes in your hunts. All I got to tell you is take that money back to a different branch, you know, be nice to the one you got the money for. Uh, take it to a different one. Uh, ask the teller if you can exchange it for larger bills, you know, 20, 10s, 5s, whatever you want. Or you could spend it or deposit it into your account. And uh, you can go back to the other bank or vice versa and pull out. What it, in other words, what I'm trying to say is... Don't deposit these notes back into the same bank that you withdrew them from. So what I do is I have one bank that I withdraw ones from and the other bank that I deposit them into. That way the tellers don't get kind of upset at you and say, oh, you know, like what's going on and stuff like that. And they, they are aware. And hi, guys, if you are watching this video, uh, they're aware that I do currency hunts. That's my tip uh, for you all during this hunt. Well, until next time, happy hunting, happy collecting. Bye, everyone.